Hi, I'm Abba Shapiro, a speaker for FMC at a variety of conferences. In today's lesson, we're going to look at chroma keying in Final Cut Pro, but that's actually kind of a trick because we're not going to key in Final Cut Pro at all. As a matter of fact, I'm not a big fan of the keyer in Final Cut Pro. There's some great third-party plugins you can use, but right in the box when you buy Final Cut Studio is a great keyer, and that keyer is inside of Motion. So let's go ahead. We're going to start in Final Cut Pro, and if you take a look at the screen, you'll notice I have two clips. The clip on the bottom, labeled BG-1 TIFF, is our background, and the clip on the top is our foreground with the chroma key. Let me load the background clip into our viewer, and you can see it's a series of mountains. The foreground clip is our talent shot in front of a green screen. Now normally you would select the foreground, go up to Effects, Filters, and place one of the chroma key filters on top of it within Final Cut Pro. But as I said, I'm not that thrilled with the keyer built into Final Cut Pro, but I love the keyer built into Motion. So we're going to go ahead and select both the foreground and the background clip, control click or right click with our mouse, and send this to a Motion project. The clip sent to the Motion project is named after the sequence, so we're going to leave it that way. We're going to have it launch Motion and embed the content directly into our Final Cut Pro timeline. Simply hit Save. And as you see, our clip appears in motion. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the project pull down as well as the timing so you can see exactly what's happening here in motion. Now if you can't see your entire clip in motion, simply hit Shift Z and that is a fit to window command, the exact same command that you would have in Final Cut Pro. Now what we want to do is we want to select the foreground clip, which is stretch. We're going to go up here to add filter, keying, and you would think you want to choose blue or green screen, but that's not the case. You want to use Primat RT. This is an incredibly robust keyer. Select Primat RT, and immediately you see a great key. But let's show you how to tweak that key. You're going to open up the HUD and select from Process Foreground to Matte. And this turns it into the black and white matte. Now this is a pretty clean key right off the bat, but had it not been a perfectly clean key, what you would want to do is you could select the backing color or just automatically say what the color is, in this case, green. You then want to grab the noise removal slider and move it all the way to the left. And now you're going to play with the matte density slider. The matte density slider allows you to move it right and left, and our goal here is not to get a gray person or to have a really washed out background. You want as clean of a black and white matte as possible. So I'm going to slide this forward and back until I get a perfectly black background with a white foreground. Whatever is white, the top layer will stick to. Once we've done that, you grab the noise removal slider and move it to the right. Now let's go ahead and switch from matte to process foreground. As you see, we have a pretty clean key right here. We can also play with spill suppression. The spill suppression basically is the red that's on the opposite side of the green in the color wheel. Sometimes motion overcompensates and you'll get a very red looking image. Simply grab the spill suppressor, move it left and right until you get the image nice and clean. Now as you see, there's a little bit of green haloing around the edges of our talent. We're going to go ahead and add just one more filter. We're going to go to keying, spill suppressor. By default, it's going to choose blue and we're going to switch that to green. And now we have a nice gray edge around him. I see it still is a little bit pink, so we're going to go back up here to our Primat RT and move the spill suppressor a little bit to the left. Let's go ahead and play and see how this looks. Pretty clean key. Now this is the great part. All you have to do when you're done is simply save. You could do this by hitting Command S or going up to the File menu and simply hitting Save. Now we're going to jump back into Final Cut Pro. I'm going to simply hit Command and the Tab key. When I see Final Cut, I'm going to lift my thumb up off the command key, and there we see in our timeline is our motion project with a perfectly clean key. I'm Abba Shapiro, and thanks for watching.